We're learning of a possible person of interest in the 1982 child kidnapping. Three-year-old Rachel Runyon was abducted from a playground in Sunset. Her body later found in Morgan County. Her killer has never been arrested. But all of that could change. For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Rachel Runyon's mother says this is a good tip and that Sunset Police and state investigators are seriously looking into it. All this while the 1982 composite previously released may have been misleading. We always thought it was a black person, so we never suggested what we're reporting to you now. This composite may no longer be an accurate description of Rachel Runyon's kidnapper. In 1982, the three-year-old is taken from a school playground in Sunset. Her five-year-old brother and younger brother are with her. The older one gives police a description of the stranger. But after nearly 38 years, Rachel's mother no longer believes the description is accurate. My son was five years old, and... He thought it was a black man, but he always said the composite wasn't right. So he never felt good about it. And as he thinks deeply, as he has over the years, he said, I, I just don't know that it's a black person, Mom. The family's private investigator, along with the mother, are working with law enforcement on this new description. We're not just focusing too much on this person being African-American. We believe that he's non-Caucasian, that this person of interest that was responsible for Rachel's death is likely a dark brown complexion. Another significant change is the suspect's mustache. That the mustache in the sketch was not accurate, that he remembered there being a, a gap in his mustache where the philtrum is. One thing that doesn't change is the suspect's vehicle. From the outset, it's described as a light blue Ford Pinto-like with wooden panels on its side. At this person tried to get them to go to Bobco's for ice cream. So we know that person was local because anyone else outside the area would not be familiar with Bobco's as a source to get ice cream at. For the past few weeks, the private investigator's Facebook page is alerting the public about these new changes, and it may be paying off. A tipster informs Jensen and Runyon of a man who fits the new description. So that's opened the door to a little more exploring. This new lead is amazing. I kind of have to protect myself from getting too excited, maybe disappointed, but I haven't had any lead this good for a long time. A lot of it makes sense. Jensen says this tipster never came forward because the person always thought that police were looking for an African-American. We've also learned this person of interest lived in the area, was driving a similar type vehicle, and had a history of sexually abusing children. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News. Thank you, Marco. So Marcos did reach out to the Sunset Police for a comment on the story, but as of showtime tonight, they've not gotten back to him.